and welcome back. Now then, here's the thing. If you own a screw cutting lathe and you go around telling everybody at work that you've got one, eventually you'll be asked to make something. And that's exactly what's happened to me. An old dude at work called Brian wants me to make him an exhaust retaining bolt for a Mountfield mower. And at the time I thought, yeah, yeah, not a problem. Go on, get the old tapping die set out, be a metric. Easy peasy, got a full set of metrics, looks like an M6 about, I'll crack on. So I get some, and it turns out it's not an M6, it's nowhere near. So I thought it might be a BA. And I don't mean BA, Barakas. I ain't getting no plain fool. No, it's not even a BA. So, that's your metric. That's your BA, Barakas. And this is what I've got to make. Nowhere near. So really coarse thread. So a bit of red scratching, and a bit, a bit of looking on the internet, and it's suspiciously like... A Whitworth, which is fine, except the only die I've got for Whitworth. Oh, come back. See, it's troublesome already. The only die I've got for Whitworth is this old Warrior, which is a 5 sixteenths, which is fine. Unfortunately, though, it's a bit slacking tons. I need a quarter, and I'm not going and buying myself a quarter die clearly about five pound plus postage on ebay if you just want the one so <clears throat> without further ado i'm gonna have to make one on the screw cutting lathe but you have to bear with me a bit because it's ages since i've even done it even dreamt to do anything like that but let's have a look <sighs> hey, hey, hey. we're back on the lathe it's been about 10 months and to be quite honest my machining skills are slightly rusty so you'll have to bear with me to figure out what all these levers are for. But first jobs first, we have to reduce this bar stock for the parts I'm making. I'll just do a couple of roughing passes. We're laughing. I've roughly reduced it down to the correct diameter, slightly larger, a couple of thousandths because you will lose that when you're doing the screw cutting action and also it's a little bit longer, that's what the guy wants, he wants a longer thread. Okay, that bit's ready, I need to know what I'm setting up on the screw cutting gearbox. Does the offending doofer, I've got this very small moustache comb, no, I was only kidding, it's a thread checking gauge and it's telling me it's 20 threads per inch. So now I need to set that up on the screw cutting gearbox. Let's have a look where 20 is. Hmm. Oh yeah, I see it. She's there. And it's telling me I need to set up levers D and A. And it says it's C in A moment, which used to be an old shop back in the day. So D and A. Make sure it's in. That yeah, seems to be it. So that's that set. Uh, what else do we need? Oh yeah, I need to move that offending lever at the bottom. Or to 20. It's a bit crusty, it doesn't get used that often. There we go, that's that set. And it's just a matter of putting the lead screw in the right gear we've got neutral metric in English, it's Whitworth's an English thread so we'll put it over to English that seems to be that I'm not convinced about that but it doesn't seem to be right ok, that's that now move over to these top levers 
this is your start handle and you press down it's a brake but my brake doesn't work that's a fingertip reverse but we don't need that today this controls the direction of your lead screw so you're doing left or right handed screws don't ask me to do a left handed one I'm not up to that yet spindle speed that's set to the lowest point at the moment so that's alright just need to adjust the top levers the ideal speed would be 54 but we can't get that listen to this well, I'm going to put it into 54 and it's a right clicking noise Can you hear that? Something definitely going on in there. So that's no good. That happens when I move when I move this one over to that direction. So ideally, I have to have them both that way. That gives me 315. But that is a little bit fast screw cutting. As you can imagine. fast. Luckily I can turn me inverter down. Exactly what I'm going to do. Lovely jubbler. So that's all that set, that's the right speed. It's just a matter of setting up, setting up the compound slide. This is the thing that's needed next. This is a handy tool for setting up the correct orientation of your screw cutting tip. And we'll be using Whitworth 55 degree. That look at one I'd say. Off camera, I've set up the compound slide to 29.5 degrees. The idea being is when you're advancing the cut, you're only cutting the front of the thread, and it makes it a lot easier to cut, so you get a nicer looking thread, and it's not as harsh on the cutting tool. So that's why that's there. Interestingly enough, on the original video, screw cutting video, I did a metric thread. And that's like on metric, but with an imperial lead screw because it's a 50 year old lathe. And because you, you've selected metric but using an imperial lead screw, you can't use the thread dial indicator. I tried it a few times and I didn't know what was going on. As you can see on the thread dial in indicator, you've got numbers, so you'd wait for number two to come round and then you'd engage that. that. The half nuts, everything fine, then you disengage, back off, wait for it to come round, or the alternative number four. But I'll just say for, for argument's sake, you wait for number two to come round again, you then engage, and bugging me, because there's a mismatch in the gearing, it'd cut the thread in a different place. It didn't matter that you got it banged on to, it wouldn't cut right. So that was disappointing, and it took me a while to figure out what to do. So I ended up doing something else. I had to permanently leave the half nuts on and run the lathe backwards and forwards using the fingertip reverse, which is fine. That worked out great for the metric thread. But for this one, it's a Whitworth and it's an English thread. I'm going to use the thread dial indicator. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, first things first, I need to set up the tip. So the correct orientation. It's nearly there. And basically when that's parallel with the work and the tip fits in, you're good to go. And it's just moved. I need to tighten everything up. There we go. I'll just tighten that up. I and mean, that is in the right place for the thread cutting a whip with thread. Right.